for my sister scrapper today I want to share a fun little uh, waterfall folio project with you um, I got some fabulous paper from Tamarit Country Craft Creation she sent me the authentic heroic paper collection she sent me the 12 by 12 as well as the 6 by 6 so thank you Tamara if you want to get this collection really um, she has it at her store and I'll put a link in the description box to her store as well as there is a link on my blog um, so yeah, I haven't used the 6x6 six six yet, but this paper is just, wow, it's amazing. So when I decided what I wanted to make, um, I had in my head, you know, you have something in your head, and you're thinking it's going to come to fruition, but you're not really sure. So I wanted to do a waterfall, so but I wanted it to be like a trifold. So I took my waterfall tutorial that I did a few years ago for Graphic 45 and my trifold folio and combined them. So this is my trifold waterfall folio. Anyway. Same measurements, it's four and a half by eight and a half. The spines are three quarters of an inch. Um, I did use again the 12 by 12 papers as well as the stickers. I had some silver uh, glitter paper, so I punched out some stars with a stamp on up star punch and just added them here um, to this ephemera piece. I backed the ephemera with some of the red artisan cardstock from Tamara's store. Same with the stickers here and here and same with this image. I did cut it down so it would fit across here. For my closure I used one of the Tim Holtz elastic bands which I really really love but after I put it on I had the book all made. I added it and then I closed it and I realized my elastic band was a little too big. So what are you going to do? Well you dig in your stash and you find a little wooden blue anchor here and you somehow tie it on there to shrink up your elastic so it'll fit <laughs> so I might I'm gonna I might have to dangle a little charm or some little dog tags would be super cute so anyway there's the spine spine and there is the back I love the polka dot paper this paper collection is amazing I do know what photos I want to put in here I have um, some pictures of my dad he was in the Air Force my brother was in the Army my cousin was in the Army my nephew was in the Navy and I have another nephew who was in the National Guard and I have another nephew who's in the Marine so I think I got them all covered um, I want to put pictures of, of those in there in here so super cute so again you op opens up like this again I just left this blank because um, this is I kind of got it full. And here's the uh, U.S. Coast Guard one. Oh, I also have a brother-in-law who's in the Coast Guard. So seriously, there I got everything covered here. And then it opens like this. So it, this is why it's my trifold waterfall. I have a waterfall here, here, here. So it, it's a trifold, but it's the waterfall folio. So what I did was I layered, again, the stickers are all going to be layered on the red artisan cardstock. So right here, and then I put um, just a strip of the paper just to break up some of the red. I did use the craft artisan cardstock to wrap my chipboard and make the base pages. I have a magnet closure here, America the Beautiful's from the sticker sheet. I did use um, the 3x4 cutouts um, as a sign on each one of the fronts, and then the rest are going to be for photos. So again, I have another one of the cutouts here. I went ahead and cut some strips just to cover up some of the space between the flaps. These are all going to be red on the back side. And these will hold a 3 by 4 photo. So over here, I have this one up here, and then I, so I put this one down towards the bottom, and this one says, Proud to Serve. These images are just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Love it. And again, they're all red on the back, so they're kind of a mirror image of each other. And then for the center, I, again, this is sticker I put on the cardstock and then layered it up on some of the design paper. Have, again, I have a magnet closure. And then for this one, I went ahead and put the 3 by 4 card here, backed it on some red artisan cardstock, and this one flips up like this. So again, I have another cute little 3 by 4 card, and this one will fold down like this. And this one I used the camo on the back side and the red. I alternated on those. Really fun. And then I have a set of pockets right here. Again, some more stickers from the sticker sheet. Small little tag here, and I used my We Are Memory Keepers um, angle punch for this. And here, and here is the stripe one. And they're plain on the back. Again, this is the reverse of the camo. I thought the colors were just awesome. This is a fabulous collection. Authentique did an amazing job of this. So if you have be great for 4th of July. Um, any military photos you have, just absolutely love it. So then this folds back down like this, 
and this closes like this. So there you go everybody, that's my little waterfall trifold folio using the fabulous Authentique Heroic collection. And I use the 12 by 12s. There you have it, thanks for watching, bye.